So this is a, another little installment on the progress. Um, the kitchen has cleared out this wall that was running right there. Has now been completely removed. There's still um, <clears throat> wires hanging around that need to be disconnected. And um, this wall here needs to frame in. But the wall is framed in here for the walkthrough. So this will be the new walk through out and all of this is going to empty out and become the new family room and the um, kind of the header across the top down to the height of the studs over there with the blank the towel sitting on them that's going to frame across to this post and create a window um, behind the new gas range which will connect to the gas line there and we started laying out the pantry you can kind of see the lines on the floor and decided to go with two foot shelving and then that'll come out to about here so that'll be a little walk-in pantry and then a um, the cabinet that has the garbage in it and also the refrigerator will sit against the back wall. So the downstairs is ready for work to begin in earnest and <clears throat> the progress that's been made lately has been upstairs and now the um, washer, dryer, and new gas water heater are installed and operational. And we have now a nice folding table and linen and supply storage. And the new tile floor is not trimmed out at the threshold, but it's functional now. <clears throat> so now that that's functional, the uh, work can begin downstairs. The wall's still roughed on this side in the baby's room and it's just sheetrocked but not finished out yet in here. Um, but that's That's the progress so far. We're still using kind of half indoor, half outdoor on the kitchen. The main thing is now that the laundry room is operational and the hot water is operational upstairs and washer dryers working, now I can gut the rest of the kitchen and then uh, finish the framing and the wiring and get it set up and then strip the carpets and take everything out of here to lay tile and the hydronic heating system on the entire downstairs and then the hydronic system keeping the downstairs warm because the ceiling is beam and 2 by 6 tongue and groove so if the downstairs is warm the upstairs kind of automatically stays warm via convection and conduction through the 2x6 flooring. So there we are, nice little update and um, progress is coming along and now the focus will be on getting the kitchen operational. We did just receive yesterday a big pile of boxes out there containing all of the new kitchen cabinets and still have the same makeshift um, kitchen and we have all of the tile to lay down on the downstairs floor as well as um, up 
hiding behind the boxes up there is the tile for the countertops. Turns out granite tile is dramatically less expensive than full granite countertops, so that's the way we're going to go to save, well, $3,000 or more. Anyway, um, that's the progress so far.